Welcome to one of New Jersey's toughest women's prisons. This is Emma, an eight-week-old black lab who's facing 10 months of hard time. We actually train them to be explosive detection canines. They'll work for our law enforcement and learn how to use their noses. Meet Emma's trainer, Avon Jenkins. Just 21 years old, Avon's doing five years for manslaughter. I'm actually in prison for vehicular homicide. I was drinking, driving, and my passenger died in an accident. I'm serving a five-year prison sentence. She's also one of the most effective trainers in the program. Yeah. We learn high-pitched voices they respond to a lot. We all sound good and crazy, but, but it, it's called jollying. It's our way of getting them to tune into us and listen to us. We make all different types of noises. Think about it. These women have nothing but time. They're here 24 seven and devote themselves to the training and the bonding and the nurturing of these dogs. Jan Brady directs the training for puppies behind bars. Let's focus on loosely walking. The first step of raising a bomb sniffing dog is to give them a solid foundation in obedience. Here we kind of just do like their preliminary training. We housebreak them, we get them good house manners and we teach them basic commands. Easy, Emma, easy. A lot of training takes place here in Avon's cell. Good girl. Stay. Good I'm very girl. consistent with her and I keep with it. Good, stay. You're free. Positive feedback is very important. We give the dogs lots of praise. That's their biggest reward. You know, they love their praise because then they see us happy with them and they get happy back. Hey, Mama. <laughs> Emma's only been with Avon for two weeks, but she's a quick learner. Today, she's learning to search for hidden explosives. Emma's turn. <laughs> Emma. Emma, it's your turn. So this is her towel that she's been using since the start. Yeah. Right? And uh, I can see it's really <laughs> dirty. Got the sense that she recognizes on it. OK, so it's. Uh, we can tell she loves it. Yeah. We can tell she loves it. Yes, she does. But explosives aren't allowed inside a state prison. So Emma practices by hunting down a dirty towel. <laughs> OK. Where's it going? Where's it going? She'll actually watch the towel get hidden, and then she'll use her nose to search for it. OK. Emma, find it. Find it. Oh, I think she's an odor. See, she's not sure. She knows it's in the area. She doesn't. Emma, find it. Good girl. Good girl. Go find it. Good girl. Get in there. She loves to tug. There, That's Emma. fantastic. Get in there. Yes. Good girl. I'm happy to see she has this much focus. For her age, she's doing really, really well. Oh, thank she's you. just a natural, I think, don't you? Yeah, I think so too. Good girl. OK, who's next? All the dogs in this program are Labradors. We love working with Labradors because they bond really well with people. It doesn't take them two minutes to love the person they're with. Good girl. Good girl, Nani. Elizabeth Robertson is serving time for fraud. She is also part of this bomb dog training program. I have pictures of all the puppies that I've helped to raise. Um, this is Pruitt. She left to go to the, um, alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. This is Nikki. Nikki was one of my favorite dogs. She just left on Friday to go to the CIA, which was, um, you know, bittersweet because we get very attached to the dogs. Good girl, good girl, good girl. But it's gratifying to know that one of our dogs that we raised could sniff out a bomb and save lives. Good girl. 